Are you wondering how to get verified on Pinterest as an e-commerce business? Well, look no further because in today's video, I'm going to explain to you exactly what you need to do in order to get that blue tick next to your e-commerce business name on your Pinterest business profile. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button and to hit the bell to be notified every single time I post a new video here on the Cordial Media YouTube channel. Of course, welcome. If you don't know me, my name is Adriana. I help e-commerce businesses and influencers drive traffic and sales utilizing Pinterest. Without further ado, let's dive in to all things verified merchant program. First of all, I do want to mention that influencers who are quite big or popular can get a red tick next to their name. And there's nothing you can do about that other than email the Pinterest help center if you're a creator with a big following on other social media platforms. You can help email the Pinterest help center and say people are ripping off my account. I'm an influencer. Please give me the red tick. So that's if you're an influencer and you want to get that red tick, that's how you can go about it. Now back to how do you get the blue tick as an e-commerce business? First of all, what is the verified merchant program on Pinterest? It's essentially the program made by Pinterest that tells pinners that Pinterest has given certain e-commerce business a stamp of approval to shop their products through the Pinterest platform. And it's basically like Pinterest saying these, this e-commerce brand is legit. They're safe. They have good products and, um, you should shop from them if you want to. The question is though, how do you actually get accepted as a verified merchant? Well, there are a couple things that you need to do. First thing that they actually ask you to do is to read the merchant guidelines. So you can just look them up for, for Pinterest business center, or I can, if I can find the link, I'll, all right, I'll put in the description box below, but they want you to read the merchant guidelines so that you are aware of what a merchant is expected to be or do on the Pinterest platform. That's actually the very first thing. The next thing that they want you to have is your tag set up. Now you cannot set up your tag if your website URL is not actually claimed. So if you don't know how to claim your website URL, I'll have a tutorial in the description box below that you can take a look at as well. Once that's done, you can go ahead and set up your tag. If you're on Shopify, it's as simple as downloading the Pinterest app on Shopify and clicking a few buttons to connect your Pinterest account to your Shopify store. If you are on um, another platform, then you're gonna have to manually add the Pinterest code, a base code and event codes on your website. And they're gonna have to, and the tag is gonna also have to be 100% healthy. So if the tag is not 100% healthy, you will not get accepted as part of the merchant program on Pinterest. The next thing that you need to do is sync your catalog and make sure that your catalog syncs seamlessly. If there are any issues of any kind with your catalog, Pinterest will not accept you as part of their verified merchant program. And so you need to iron out all the kinks when it comes to your catalog before you can even apply or before they really decide to accept you as part of the program. There's a, gonna be a video tutorial in the description box below on the catalog do's and don'ts. So you can have a better understanding of what Pinterest wants when it comes to your catalog and as well in order to avoid any kinks that you may have. Or this video may also help you just iron out the kinks that you do already have. In any case, if you have a question about anything that I mentioned so far, um, feel free to write it in the comment box below. I'll be happy to answer you too. The next thing to consider when it comes to applying to this verified merchant program is that not every niche is actually going to get accepted. The supplements industry I've noticed has a harder time getting accepted as part of the verified merchant program because it's evidently a more controversial industry. And so if you are a supplement company and you apply to the verified merchant program and you're not getting accepted, it could be simply because you are a supplement company. Now, sometimes accounts do slide and do get accepted, even though they're not technically supposed to. My advice to you is to keep trying if you're not getting accepted and to contact your Pinterest rep, if you have one, if you have, if you know the email of the one associated with your ad account. And if you don't at that point, you can also always contact the Pinterest help center that will, you know, hopefully guide you as to why you may be rejected or what you can do to get accepted down the line. There are other niches on the platform that get accepted pretty much without batting an eye. And that would be fashion, beauty, home decor, 
food and drink gets accepted very easily and probably a few others, but off the top of my head, those are the ones that I can think of. And that's probably simply because they're way less controversial niches and Pinterest has a really low, low tolerance for anything that doesn't comply with their guidelines. They're very, very strict on their guidelines. And so if you don't meet them, they're quick to reject you or, or not have you be part of the program. And so the more you comply, the better it is for you long-term, honestly. At this point, you might be wondering, okay, but I, maybe I'm not getting accepted to the Verified Merchant Program. Is this gonna affect my promoted pins being delivered? It will not affect your ads at all. You can run ads no problem without being part of the Verified Merchant Program. And I don't honestly think that the Verified Merchant Program really makes or breaks anybody's campaigns. I think that anybody has the ability to have really good returns on Pinterest with or without the Verified Merchant Program. Having, being part of the program though, does give you this stamp of approval and does help gain the trust of pinners more easily, but it's not necessary in that case. You might also be wondering, are your ads more likely to be rejected if you're not part of the Verified Merchant Program? And the answer to that is no. If your ads don't comply to the Pinterest advertising guidelines, that is when your ads will be rejected. But other than that, you should have no issues at all, whether you are verified or you're not. If you'd like an expert like myself to look over your promoted pins, feel free to book a meeting with me. You can check out my calendar link in the description box below. You and I just hop on a free call, we chat about your Pinterest account, and we see if we're a good fit to work together. On that note, I'm gonna wish you a lovely rest of your day, and we will chat in the next video. Bye for now.